Okay, my Virgos, it's your time. It's Monday, October 8th, 2018, and this is your weekly reading. This is Magic Demon Magician Tarot. So, I'm going to tell you what's going on with your week. And I'm going to use the rock art. Tentatively. And see if there are any other messages that need to come through from any of these neat decks I got. Got a couple new decks. I know that Virgos like new things and they like nice things you know so right now monday morning you might be in a meditative state i'm definitely getting like a you're speaking softly today you're sort of holding your thoughts in you maybe have like a crazy weekend but there could be some unresolved things on your mind <clears throat> so let's see let's see what's going on here for you guys okay artistic that's good Monday morning, you're definitely channeling some of those feelings of like softness into a project, beautifying something. Healing for Tuesday, detachment for Wednesday, Thursday, exploration, Friday, stubbornness, Saturday, you're receptive, Sunday, you're challenged. Oh my god, that was going to go pretty quick. So for Monday, like I said, you might have something new and nice that's fun that you just, you know, you want to beautify. You want to make a nice space for it. You might want to make like a, you might be starting to think about Christmas presents and things like that. And you want to be creative. You want to show the people that you love that you love them. Definitely getting a loving vibe from you guys. Healing on Tuesday, which makes sense because when you put out a lot of love, pretty much within the next 24 hours, you're going to get a lot of love back. All right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're feeling a little bit detached. You might be a little bit overwhelmed at this point and need to retreat. That's how it is with you guys. Sometimes you have these, like, peaks of energy and positivity, and then you kind of shy away. You shy away, my Virgos, and that's okay. Exploration, Thursday. Maybe some of you guys might be invited to go camping or something that you don't usually do, and you want to explore. Or... You find out something really interesting, some sort of theory or a little piece of gossip or something, and you want to get in there and just dig it and just eat all the meat off the bones. All right, my Virgos. And then you're going to be convinced of something. So you might know a Sagittarius, too. I'm getting definitely some Sagittarius vibes out of this that uh, drives you crazy. Somebody's going to drive you crazy Friday at work, a Sagittarius. Saturday, but you're going to be more peaceful and more receptive. And maybe you'll see their their position a little bit more on Saturday. Something, some sort of epiphany will come your way. And you might start to see a little bit more of the duality in life. You know, they're not, not everybody's good or bad. But Sunday... Some obstacles in your way. Some of you guys might still have your eye on something that you haven't fully vocalized or verbalized that you have your eye on that. So you still haven't even gotten on the path of whatever this is. Something stuck in the gut. You need to do some yoga or something like that. You might have some tummy problems Sunday. Obstacles. Maybe you, uh, you know, drink some more water or something like that. Well, let's see. Let's see what the uh, sacred traveler has to say to y'all. Sacred traveler for Virgo. Sacred traveler for Virgo. I see a lot of socialization in the beginning of the week, and a lot of socialization at the beginning of the weekend, and then needing some time on Sunday to recover and regroup from all the new perspectives. So it might be partying a little bit. Great adventure. If you do get invited to go out, like, of the city or... Some of you guys might have a lot more money. You can go further. Then go. This is great. Great adventure. Take a risk. Venture forward. That's definitely... Explore, explore, explore. Even if you might be going with somebody that's not your usual party hopper, kind of pal go with them take a risk venture forward 
Because you might find that even though they drive you crazy at work or something like that, when they're out of work mode, you just... They're cringy. You, you have like a... Oh, God. You like... You know, you kind of look at them like that, but then I think Saturday late at night or something like that, you might find a commonality. Peacemaker of intuition. You might be a little bit more receptive and a little, maybe you'll see them in a different way. And you'll be, you know, kind of feeling them. I'm getting a little bit of like some vibes, some feelings growing. Feelings growing. Feelings growing. Who is this person? Is this person really a Sagittarius? Because, yeah, I see you in a Sagittarius, like, just not having a great first date or something like that. Or maybe, you know, you don't see eye to eye with this person, but it might be somebody else. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Tower in reverse. This person might save you from making a terrible decision. <laughs> There's really no other way to put this because you're going to need to be receptive to their advice to avoid that tower. It's like, what? Who? How is this person connected to you? What do they mean to you? Who are they? Okay. Somebody psychic. Take the psychic messages to heart. Your own intuition as well. And But also with the Empress boss lady or somebody that could be your boss... Or you um, either lost respect for this person in the past or never had respect for this person until you started to see them a little bit differently. And let's see, one more. Come on, close into who this is. Nope. Will of Fortune. Here's a freaking... Turning the other cheek toward this person was going to be better karma for you. And then we have a Knight of Pentacles. So this person is different. Could this person maybe be an air sign? Or for some of you Virgos, this could be you know a fellow earth sign. Or this could be yourself. It could be yourself on your financial journey. Or yourself as a conscript. Yourself as like a sign, you signing on to something. Yeah. Yeah, it's all becoming clear. All right. Through your healing arts, you might be meeting somebody new who's a Sagittarius that you maybe thought was like a quack or somebody that has that sort of vibe. Or. Oh, God. Yeah, it's not clear exactly who this person is yet, but you definitely, you weren't looking up to them before, but you're going to be looking up to them as they try to help you not fall out of the freaking tower. All right? So, Sagis, with the badges, if you're in a work situation and you have the opportunity to go out with some friends from work or some not friends from work, but you weren't sure if they were your friends or not, or somebody that, I don't know, open your heart. Be receptive. Be receptive. Open your heart. Open your mind. Go on the great adventure. All right. Magic Team Magician Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe. Looking good as always, Virgo. 